What's good, YouTube? Man, hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? It's part two to the to the uh the three freaky true dating app horror stories, all right? Now, look, I started back laughing at Buddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it a buck. I just ate broccoli. I got some shit in my fucking teeth, my nigga. But make sure y'all nigga like, comment, and subscribe if you new, but especially, bro, y'all gotta subscribe to the channel, bro. Roll to 500. Y'all get me there, bro. We, we at what? Uh, what, 467? Some shit like that. You feel me? I appreciate all the love and hospitality, but, um, I'm finna hit my first thousand view video too. That's crazy. But uh <clears throat> Yeah, bro. I laughed at buddy today. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I randomly was thinking about the crash and shit. Nigga, bro, I started laughing and shit, bro. It was just funny, my nigga. I wanna ask the nigga like why he bro, I swear to god, he don't drive no more, gang. He don't drive no more. Like he don't drive to work no more, bro. Like who said <laughs> Bro, the niggas the nigga why is it got the loaded shit on my but fuck that. He said it today, bro. He was like, uh he was like, that wasn't even my car, you feel me? I don't know who car it was, bro. But, you know what I'm saying? That nigga said it wasn't in his car, my nigga. Every time I just think of the smacking shit, nigga, you know how you, you just hear a whole bunch of car smacking and shit? But that shit was bad, bro. Nigga, when a nigga normally hit shit, they stop. But that nigga kept going. It's something about that nigga we don't know about, bro. I swear to God, bro. Now I see the nigga back footing it and shit, bro. Every time I think about this shit, bro, this shit funny as fuck, bro. I swear to God. I was laughing out the break today. The niggas was probably looking like, bro, this nigga weird, bro. He's just laughing out of nowhere, nigga. I seen that nigga. I was like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm still laughing at the shit you did, bro. He, he talking about, that nigga talking about, bro. Yeah, he just must randomly thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, nigga, that shit was funny, nigga. He be cheesing. That shit funny as hell. Let's get into the video, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is the last part. This part, this part two to the yesterday video, but this is the third story, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all niggas enjoying this. Y'all niggas is because y'all show love on the last one. You feel me? So show love on this motherfucker. Hit that like button. That shit had me crying today, bro. In hey. high school, I was in a big graduating class. <laughs> Ooh, so for shit. that reason, I didn't get to know a lot of my classmates on a personal level. Using dating apps in college, though, I was able to match and kind of connect with a lot of the girls I'd never really spoken to back in high school. I was using my app of choice when I matched this girl, Maria. She was in my grade in high school. I followed her on Instagram and- I ain't gonna lie, bro. Me? For some reason, bro, I just want a Latina, bro. Like, I want a Hispanic, my nigga. I swear to God, bro. Like, that been always something I wanted, bro. I just want one, bro. That's all I want. Like, I just want a Hispanic, bro. That's it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just want to experience it one time, nigga. That's it. I've been wanting to experience that shit since high school, bro, and I have yet to do it. Bro, when it, when it, bro, for some reason, I can go up to a girl that speak my language all day, but I can't go up to a girl that don't speak my language, bro, with confidence, my nigga. I be going up to them like, I have to talk all slow and shit so they can understand me. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get in on shit, you know what I'm saying? Snap already, but I never really got to know her in high school. I sent her the first message and asked her how she'd been. I talked to her about high school a lot and how it was funny that we never really spoke or had any classes together. She said we should hang out that night. I asked if she'd want to meet somewhere for drinks or food, but she said she's down to just come hang at my place if that's cool. Honestly, I like that idea even better. Yeah. I told her short. Slide. You can slide to my she place. Asked if my parents were home. That's why I'm I safe at. No, that's why I'm safe at. Sister. Then I gave her my address. She said she'd let me know when she's on her way. Then it was just a waiting game. I waited. Bro, would y'all ever do a date nap? Like, would y'all ever do Tinder? You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. Like, if it ever get that bad, bro, just, just, um, ladies and gentlemen, bro, if I got some ladies watching, I don't know what to tell you. But if you a nigga, bro, just beat your meat, my nigga. You beat your meat, you nut, you gonna feel disgusted out there. You gonna be straight. I promise you, my nigga. I used to do this shit all the time. My nigga, I had to stop. This shit was becoming a habit, bro. It's hard to stop, my nigga. But you gotta stop, bro. And waited for the notification saying Maria. But I'm just saying, if I ever get this bad, where like you gotta go on a date on now, bro. Hour. I don't gotta go on no date I now. Sent a I'm just saying. Message on Tinder, but she didn't reply. <clears throat> a few minutes later, no I checked her Instagram page and saw she posted a story a few minutes ago. It was a meme. Was she ignoring me now? I checked her Snap story, which was posted within half an hour, and she was apparently with her friend, another girl from our high school. I didn't understand. Was she coming or not? I commented on her story, are you still coming later? She opened it a few minutes later and replied saying, what are you talking about? I repeated the question, then added a reference to the conversation on the app. She replied, I don't have that app, send me the profile. So I did, and she told me right away it was a catfish and to report it. 
And your dumb ass thought she was finna get the girl you wanted from school. And your old dumb ass ended up getting catfish, bro. That's tough, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you had a other social media, why didn't you just call? Bro, I don't get y'all, bro. Call them. Make sure it's them, okay? That's all you gotta do, bro. Just make sure it's them. That's it, bro. All I want is validation. Answer this FaceTime, baby. Simple. If you don't answer that FaceTime, you're done. I feel like you want some wishy washy shit you playing, bro. And when you answer the phone, bro, don't answer the phone with your fucking face with, 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 it, with it in the ceiling, my nigga. All right? I need your face in the camera. I need your face in the camera. Don't answer the phone and I'm looking at a ceiling, bro. I hate when I, bro. I did so. And I think Tinder automatically Usa? matched the profile Usa. after that. But I wasn't concerned about someone using this girl's pictures. I was concerned someone had my address and knew my parents weren't home. I made sure every door was locked. I truly was expecting something to happen that night. But it was getting pretty late. And I was starting to feel a little more relaxed. When my guard was down. That's when it happened. Just never let your guard down, my boy. For my little never let your guard down, bro. I always play defense. Sister's room. I jumped off the couch to go run to her room. She opened the door just as I made it to the room, and we met at the doorway. She had this horrified look on her face, like she just saw a demon. She screamed that there's someone outside her window. I couldn't believe it. She ran upstairs while I went to her window to confirm it. And it's your fault, bro. There was no one out there now. It's your fault. I knew it wasn't a coincidence. I tried to call my parents, but I couldn't get a hold of either of them. My sister slept in my room with me that night because she was scared. And then why would you go outside and check, bro? Like, bro, that's the, that's the dumb shit I'll be talking about, bro. You talking about nobody there. Nigga could have hit your ass upside the head with anything, bro. You got to be more careful than that, buddy. If you don't got a mystery masking tool, my nigga, stop going outside, bro. This ain't no horror movie, bro. You don't get a respawn button, bro. This is not GTA. I don't think a lot of people understand that, bro. You cannot respawn. You can't respawn, buddy. You can't. Stop trying to be all tough for your sister and shit. And you end up getting your ass knocked up inside your head because you walked out there empty-handed, my nigga. I only went to bed after waiting downstairs for an hour, listening for anything possible. When I was finally in bed, that was when I heard a noise. My sister heard it too, because we both sat up at the exact same time. Our parents weren't supposed to be back that night. I went to lock the bedroom door and then got 911 on the phone. I whispered into the phone that I was certain we were currently the victims of a break-in. I told my sister to be quiet when she started making crying noises. Footsteps approached the door. Alright sis, then calm your head down sis. The doorknob. This ain't no time to be crying. I know you, I know you emotional and shit, but control that shit. a deep, angry sounding voice. A man said, I know you're in there, I can smell you. The 911 operator heard it, and she told me to hide in the closet with my sister. I waved my sister over to the closet and she came. We sat in there quietly the best we could, but he kept banging and banging on the door, and my sister cracked. She cried out, the police are coming, leave us alone. The banging stopped, and we heard the man laugh. Then there was silence. The next thing we knew, let the police get away. Outside, and the operator told me to quickly get to the front door if the coast was clear to let Hey bro, this nigga got away, sis. Man, you gonna have that gonna have to see each other because now I gotta I can't go to sleep safely now. Now I gotta worry about this nigga back in the house because of you, sis. So you know what you gonna do, sis? You gonna stay your ass up and I'm gonna get some fucking sleep, alright? And if the nigga if the hey man. Let the police in. The police then did a ain't got no sister, investigation bro. of the house, which was clear. I treated my sister like a the nigga. The entry and exit point was my parents' bedroom window, which he climbed through off the backyard awning. My little sister screaming about the police must have scared him off. The police recommended we sleep somewhere. I ain't gonna lie, though. I owe this sister. I don't want to be too harsh, you feel me? Because the sister, if the sister young, young, then, you know, so she get a pass and shit, man. But if she, like, teenager type shit, like, down there, 17 in that range, yeah, it's just you stand your ass up. House. So we went to my friend Joe's house. Ever since then, I always verify whoever I'm talking to from online is actually who they say they are. You need to verify and delete that fucking app, my nigga. That app is trash. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that happen all the time in real life, bro. There's nothing to play with, man. If y'all doing y'all enjoying these reactions, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe if you're new. You know what I'm saying? It's your buddy Katie Freak, man. You know what I'm saying? It's free. I love y'all, boy, man. I'm out, man.